السلام علیکم دس از ٹاک ٹو فرینا نجم فرام ڈویژن آف آرٹس اینڈ سوشل سائنسز یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن لاہور دا کورس ٹائٹل از پورٹریٹ پینٹنگ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ آور ٹاپک از اباؤٹ کلر تھیری کلر ویل پرائمری سیکنڈری کمپلیمنٹری ٹرانسپرنسی آپ سٹی ہیو ویلیو انٹینسٹی برائٹنیس کروما سیچوریشن پیورٹی ٹمپریچر وارم اینڈ کول فسٹ آف آل واٹ از کلر ایکچولی کلر از دا ریزلٹ آف دا بریک ڈاؤن آف وائٹ لائٹ ان ٹو اٹس سنگل ایلیمنٹس بائی یوزنگ اے گلاس پریزم دیز کلر ایلیمنٹس کنسسٹ آف وائلٹ انڈیگو بلو گرین یلو آرینج اینڈ ریڈ دے آر دا کلرز آف دا رینبو سر آئزک نیوٹن فرسٹ شوٹ دا نیچرل وائٹ لائٹ از اے کمبینیشن آف آل دا کلرز آف دا ویزیبل لائٹ اسپیکٹرم designers and artists find the perfect color combination through the use of color theory they use color theory color theory is a practical combination of art and science that's used to determine what colors look good together color wheel was invented in 1666 by Isaac Newton who mapped the color spectrum spectrum means the band of color onto a circle the color wheel is the basic of color theory because it shows the relationship between colors color theory is a body of principles which provide guidance on the relationship between colors and physiologists physiological impacts of certain color combinations the the color wheel is a means of organizing the color in the spectrum means in the band of color A color wheel is an abstract illustrative organization of color hues around a circle which shows the relationship between primary colors secondary colors tertiary colors etc A typical color wheel is made up of only 12 colors as you can see in this picture primary colors primary colors are not mixed from each other elements and they generate all other colors every color is made up of some combinations of these three red yellow and blue red yellow and blue are the primary colors can not be created by mixing other now i am giving you the examples of the use of primary color in some portrait paintings this one this portrait is made by using primary color red yellow and blue as you can see in this picture the primary colors this one the animatis art in the combination of primary colors red yellow and blue another example you 
you can see the primary colors red yellow and blue in this portrait painting another one secondary colors by mixing two primary colors a secondary color is created if we mix two primary colors yellow and red then we get the secondary color orange and if we mix yellow and blue then we get the color green the secondary color the secondary color purple is a mixture of two primary colors blue and red so green orange and purple these are the secondary colors purple orange and green now i'm giving you some examples of portrait painting as you can see the combination of two primary colors in this portrait painting green and purple and other examples you can see the use of primary colors intermediate or tertiary colors are created by mixing up primary and secondary colors intermediate colors lie between the primary and secondary colors on the color wheel red and orange in this uh, red as the primary color and the orange is secondary color so the combination of these two colors red orange is called tertiary color yellow primary orange secondary color yellow green the combination of blue and green blue and purple red and purple three three colors you can see in this color wheel yellow orange yellow green red orange blue green blue purple and red purple these are the three three colors the combination of primary and secondary colors you can see the use of tertiary colors in this portrait painting another In this way, you can easily understand primary plus secondary is equal to tertiary colors, the mixture of primary and secondary. Yellow, orange, red, orange, red, violet, blue, violet, blue, green, yellow, green. These are the tertiary colors. this picture red blue and yellow are primary colors orange green violet are the secondary color and the mixture of primary 
in secondary color as tertiary color red orange yellow orange yellow green blue green blue violet red violet these are the tertiary colors through this picture you can easily understand about primary secondary and tertiary colors complementary colors Complementary colors are opposite on the color wheel provided a high contrast. This color scheme involves the use of colors that are located opposite on the color wheel such as red green, yellow and purple or orange and blue. Complementary colors produce a very exciting dynamic pattern. green orange uh, green and red complementary co colors yellow and purple orange and blue complementary colors as you can see through this picture red green yellow purple orange blue red green purple yellow blue and orange these are the colors opposite on the color wheel Now I am giving you some examples of portrait painting in which complementary colors are used. As you can see, the complementary colors in this portrait. Green red, blue orange, you can see. the contrast of blue and orange in this picture you can see the complementary colors another one blue and orange Transparency, a material or article allowing light to pass through so that objects behind can be distinctly seen. Transparency, Now I am giving you the example of transparency in portrait painting. You can see the transparency, this portrait painting. Another one, four part. You can see the transparency. Beautiful work, Transparency Art by Charm and Sharma. Another one.
transparency you can see in this portrait painting another one beautiful painting opacity opacity not transparent or trans translucent impenetrable to light not allowing light to pass through hue hue is the term for the pure spectrum colors commonly referred to by the colored names red orange yellow blue green violet which appear in the hue circle or rainbow theoretically all hues can be mixed from three basic hues known as primaries hue the specific name of a color each color on the color wheel is a hue black white and gray do not appear on the color wheel because they have no hue value in art has various meanings but for the purpose of this post uh, we will be referring to value in relation to color theory value is a name we give to the lightness and darkness of tones value in art is essentially how light or dark something is on a scale of white to black with white being the highest value and black being the lowest value on the other hand you could have many different values of the same hue these are called tints and shade you can produce tints of a color by adding white and shades by adding black value the lightness of darkness of an object or color of an used color with drawing and see the value another picture you can create shades tints and tones of a color by adding black gray and white to a base hue shade tan tones a shade is created by adding black to a base hue darkening the color this creates a deeper richer color shades can be quite dramatic and can be overpowering you can see in this picture we we add black color in red tone red color then we create the shade our tint is creating by adding white to a base hue lightening the color this can make a color less intense and is useful when balancing more vivid color combinations and the tone is created by combining black and white or gray with the base hue like tints tones tones are subtler version of the original color tones are less likely to look pastel and can reveal 
complexity is not apparent in the base color. You can see in this color wheel. Here is the pure color. And you can uh, create tint by using white in hue and create tones by using hue in gray. And you can create shade by using hue and black. Hue, tint, shade, intensity. You can see in this picture. Another one. Tint and shade. can see in this portrait painting another one many artists prefer to use just a limited value range which can promote harmony in the painting what is the relationship between value and color Every color has an underlying value somewhere between white and black. Let's take a look at the relationship between value and color by using the standard color wheel. Now here is the standard color wheel with no actual color. Notice how different colors have different value. Note all colors are equal in terms of light and dark. Now for each of these colors you can have an individual value scale with tints all the way up to white and shades all the way down to black. So, as you can imagine, there are an infinite number of potential colors. You could mix even with just a limited palette. Notice how many colors in the color wheel have similar values despite having very different hues. When placed next to each other, these colors would have very little contrast in value. And your eye may find it difficult to identify which color has more important in your painting. Value is a much more powerful structural element in your paintings compared to the hue you use. In fact, the hues you use have little importance in setting the structure of your paintings. That is not to say color is not important. Color has an extremely powerful physiological importance in your painting. Chroma, saturation, purity. In color theory, chroma refers to the degree of vividness of a color or how pure it is compared to its representative on the color wheel. It can also be called saturation or color intensity. Understanding chroma is essential for creating the Munsell color mixing chart, which relies on 16 step chroma sequence. Saturation is the intensity or purity of the color. Artist color wheel, you can see. Tint sheets from a chart.
value, chroma and value. Value Value, the relative lightness or darkness of a color, tint adding white, tones adding gray, and complementary shades adding black, you can see. And chroma, the purity of a color. 3D of color. Color perception is described by three objective variable, hue, value, and chroma. These variables constitute the 3D of color space. Hue, the dominant color of an object, red, green, blue. Value, gray scale. Value increases toward the high and lighter and decreases towards the low and darker. Chroma, degree of saturation of a particular hue. Mansell color system. Temperature, warm and cool. The color wheel can also be divided into warm and cool colors. The warmth or coolness of a color is also known as its color temperature.